Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you're doing really wonderful and so I'm here with the latest uh, with what is happening across the Caribbean surrounding areas and we'll also be talking about Tropical Storm Calvin which remains a threat to Hawaii and so before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And so we are starting out with Calvin and so we can see here that on satellite Calvin isn't looking too impressive on the infrared satellite but do not let that trick you it is going to be producing some dangerous conditions uh, especially for the big island of Hawaii and so let's go ahead and look at the cone forecast and here we can see that uh, the big island is highlighted in blue which indicates that tropical storm warning and that shaded area right there that is representing the extent of the tropical storm force winds so that is the reason there is a warning because when the center of this is going to be very close in proximity those tropical storm force winds will likely be felt uh, in the big island and so there's likely to be other impacts those rough seas and even that very heavy rainfall so now isn't the time to go out to the beach it is time to uh, hunker down for this uh, impending cyclone here which should make its way past the island just to the south of the island bringing all those impacts impacts as we're going to be heading into tonight uh, around 8 p.m. local time in Hawaii going to tomorrow morning so uh, please take the sort of precautions and stay safe guys but it should downgrade to a depression uh, as we're going to be heading through tomorrow and eventually a post tropical cyclone by Thursday but as of now it has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour and is moving westward at 22 miles per hour so we're not talking about a slow moving system here so it shouldn't linger for a very long time and it is is also not very strong nonetheless it could still do some damage there so please stay safe everyone and so now let's go ahead and hop over into the Atlantic and there we can see that there is uh, Donald there which has now transitioned into a tropical storm and uh, we see lots of activity across uh, some other spots in the Atlantic Basin of the southeastern coast of the US in the Caribbean we also see all that cluster of activity in association with another tropical wave which is approaching that will kick up the rainfall chance for some spots in the Caribbean. We'll be looking at that very shortly. And uh, off the coast of Africa, we have our next wave emerging, which could possibly develop into the next system. And so uh, as for Dawn, let's go on to the latest cone forecast here. Here we have it. So uh, Dawn should remain a tropical storm out there throughout this week. Uh, and it might strengthen a bit more with winds, maybe peaking at around 50 miles per hour. But uh, as of right now, it is not a threat to land. It's just it's going to be loitering out there but of course I'll keep you guys posted on it and now we want to go ahead and zoom into the region so there we have all that activity in association with that tropical wave which is approaching and uh, already bringing some impacts likely some heavy rainfall to some spots in Barbados or maybe the island has experienced uh, heavy rainfall similar story for Martinique going to St. Lucia as well so let me know what's happening for you uh, in your area but more activities out there uh, to make its way in so we'll be looking at the rainfall maps very shortly and so as we take a look at a closer look at the region here we can see lots of activity across most of the northern islands going to Hispaniola uh, Cuba even just in the vicinity of Grand Cayman we see lots of thunderstorms in near Jamaica and surrounding Hispaniola and uh, we also see lots of activity down in the southwestern Caribbean especially in Panama and across other spots of Central America now as we move to the east though ABC Islands in the clear not much happening for Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands and uh, there isn't much happening for majority of the Lesser Antilles as I said there is that uh, activity moving in in the vicinity of Barbados going to Martinique St. Lucia uh, possibly even for St. Vincent as well but there is going to be a pretty good chance uh, of rainfall for most of the Windward Islands as we're going to be heading through today as of now there isn't much happening for uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And there is some activity in some parts of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands, but uh, nothing too crazy going on there. And now we want to go ahead and take a look at the rainfall map from both GFS and Euro uh, as we're going to be heading throughout the rest of today. So we're starting out with GFS here. And uh, when this map becomes more colorful, when we see more of these shades of oranges, reds, that is where the rainfall chance gets higher. More rainfall expected within those, sh uh, those shaded spots. And so as you look at this 
this map here, we can see that majority of the Caribbean is expected to receive some amount of rainfall through today. We see the Bahamas uh, and also for Florida as well. Uh, we also see the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola expected to receive some rainfall. This is not going to be the case for everyone in these islands though. So some areas could experience lots of rainfall while others might not. It might just be a lot of sunshine through the day. And a uh, similar story as we head to uh, Puerto Rico and also as we look down in the southeastern Caribbean, there we see Trinidad, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, Barbados expected to receive some substantial rainfall. Things should be in the clear for the ABC Islands and as we head uh, as we head further up north into the rest of the Lesser Antilles, going to the Leeward Islands, up to Anguilla, we're not seeing where a whole lot of rainfall is expected but nonetheless there might be some rainfall uh, today. For northern South America there might be some heavy rainfall in some spots in Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana. Heading over into Central America we see more of that uh, substantial rainfall expected as we head to parts of Nicaragua, Panama and Costa Rica as well. Is Euro in agreement with this? Uh, yes it is. So we're seeing that the same areas here most of the Caribbean expected to receive some amount of rainfall. You're expecting rainfall to be less or more across some spots compared to the GFS but nonetheless uh, most of the Caribbean expected to receive a lot of rainfall thanks to the increased moisture in the area. And then finally, we want to now take a look at the ensemble members for both GFS and Euro. Are they still expecting that system? So we're starting out with the GFS members here and we can see that uh, as we're going to be heading into the end of next week, going to Friday the 28th of July, uh, there we have the members showing down and uh, here we're seeing that we have all these tracks coming from the tropical Atlantic but not a whole plethora of them expecting that we're going to be seeing some development and the system moving into the Caribbean. Uh, a lot of them that are expecting that it will be surviving up to that point are showing that it will be moving into the Caribbean. That still remains a possibility and uh, some of them expecting that it will miss the region. So uh, there is nothing solid as I said before in uh, my previous updates. Nothing is solid right now and as we look at the Euro Ensemble members, uh, less support this morning. Not a whole lot of members expecting that we're going to be seeing development but uh, out of the amount of them expecting that this will be uh, surviving up to this point are expecting that it will likely move into the Caribbean uh, affecting some areas and so there will continue to be uh, a lot of changes maybe by the next update there is going to be something completely different and uh, that's just how it is when it comes on to these potential systems that are so far out more than a week from now uh, so there is a lot uh, that is likely to happen between now and then there are many possibilities on the table and nothing is solid again there's that dry air out there which is that main inhibiting factor right now so let us first see if that wave is going to manage to sustain some activity as it makes its way closer to the Caribbean and let's see what will happen thereafter but I will be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening and all that is expected as time goes by so that is pretty much it for this update and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments I will respond once I get the chance and as always remember to be weatherwise